Using Logitrace for the jumbo boards, I'm going to trace out a full-size flat-bottom canoe. This was the magazine article that I'm going to use. My jumbo setup is four boards end-to-end. -end. The diagram shown here is full-size, just under 16 feet long on the four boards. First thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to select the alignment points. So I'll be putting a, an alignment point on either end of the drawing board. These alignment points are necessary because if you have to move your diagram because of the null area between each board, this enables you to move the diagram and trace those parts that you're missing. So it's just a matter of going to each end of the boards and, and touching the pen. Two points, that's all that's needed. So first off, I'm going to be tracing out the canoe sides and I'm going to select the arc command. This is a very easy command because you're only touching three spots. So I'll be touching one spot on the right hand side, in the middle, and on the left hand side. And that will complete the arc. It's quite amazing because the canoe is just under 16 feet. And I was able to trace out the arc of the canoe three points. Add it to the arc command. Now I'm going to select the line command and that'll be for that angular piece at the front and then the bottom of the canoe all the way back to the other side. I use the line command because the bottom of the canoe is flat. You can see here where I go back over to the left hand side of the diagram and I touch the top of that angular part there and then I continue the line right back to the right hand side. That completes the bottom of the canoe side. Very easy and quick. Shown here I'm going to save this part of my drawing. I'll create the canoe side file. Now I'm going to trace out the bottom of the canoe and again I'm going to select that alignment, those two points on the left hand side and on the right hand side. As I said before, this is in case you need to move your diagram to do some additional tracing between the null points of the four boards. Just to show these alignment points clearly, I marked an X on the left hand side and I marked another X on the right hand side. So all you're doing is touching those two points. So now we're all set to trace out the bottom of the boat, full size, and I'm going to select arc. And again the arc command requires three input points. So it'll be on the right hand side, the middle, and on the left hand side. Shown here you can see where I'm selecting the point on the right hand side, in the middle, and on the left hand side. And again I'll be using the arc command to do the top of the boat bottom because it's the same type of an arc. You can see here where I started with the left hand side, did the top of the boat bottom, and back to the right hand side right where I started the original tracing. So that completes the tracing of the boat bottom. Very quick, very easy. Now I'm going to save my file. I'm going to call that the boat bottom DXF file. Shown here, I'm using the CNC machine. I've got a quarter inch carbide bit and I'm cutting out those quarter inch plywood panels. The project here was to show how you can trace out a full size diagram using the jumbo board setup. Also, it's fantastic that you can trace out something that's just under 25 feet. In this case, I used a paper plan, but you could also trace out an actual part that you removed from some boat, put it on the drawing board, and trace it out, and recut that bottom.
This is a copy of some of the procedures from that article.